Now back on this side of the pond, let's head up I-95 to Baltimore, where Andy is live with the new experience you'll find at this year's Preakness. Good morning, Andy. Uh, good morning to you and I tell you what, what a beautiful scene already. We are about uh, two weeks out from being, well, this is the second leg of the Triple Crown. We've got a case right here this morning. Thank, Thank you. you so much for joining us. Thank you. What is new this year? What can fans expect? Well, there's always something new at the Preakness and here at the Stronic Group, we want to give fans the ultimate experience. So it's the 10th anniversary of the Budweiser Infield Fest and new this year is that all five of our acts are going to be on one stage. They're going to have a view of the racetrack, which is new. There's new betting locations too where fans can learn how to bet and just enjoy world-class horse racing. In fact, and of course, there are going to be libations, of drinks, course. right? Of course, absolutely. <laughs> so, what do you think of this thing? The Kentucky Derby, we think of mint and juleps, That's right. but here uh, we've got a different drink of choice. We do. It's the Black Eyed Susan, and on Friday is the Black Eyed Susan Day. That's for the three-year-old Phillies. That's where they do take center stage. And with this drink, it's one part Maker's Mark bourbon, one part DeKuyper peach tree, one part effing vodka, two parts orange juice, two parts sour mix. And we have the lovely Kristen here that's making up this awesome drink for us. And it is delicious. I really do enjoy it quite a bit. So again, <laughs> uh, Friday is like, kind of like great. the girls day out and then you get the perfect crushed ice. You shake it all together and you garnish. You have these wonderful mm. keepsake Preakness glasses as well with an orange slice and a cherry. And not only does it look great, but it, it really is fun and delicious. And truly, I'm gonna sample this one right here while <laughs> She pours. I have a feeling I'm going to like this a little bit better than a mint julep, but mm. <laughs> it's good. It's not too sweet. That's it's the perfect combination. Yes, I, I, I love that. And then let's talk a little bit about the attire. I mean, when you're talking the mm -hmm. Women's Day, this is when, I mean, show up in your best, right? Absolutely. So you'll see a lot of people dressed up in pink on Friday mm -hmm. for Black Eyed Susan Day. But of course, you have the Maryland colors that are really present <laughs> throughout. We're really proud of the history of Maryland racing here throughout the Preakness. So come dress to impress. All right. We're looking forward to it. And then also, guys, coming up, we're going to learn a little bit about betting. There is a method to it. I have no idea what it is, but that's why she's here. She's the expert. So we're going to learn about that, guys. So stick with us. It's going to be a really exciting morning here at the racetrack. Now, Andy's in one of my favorite spots, Pimlico. Uh, we're just a little bit up from Freakness, and Andy's checking it out. That's right. We are checking it out. Uh, we explored uh, the new the, the drink options that are popular this year. Also, we're going to give you the 411 on betting. Now, look. Acacia, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I love horses. I love horse racing. I don't know that much about betting. It can be very intimidating for people that, that don't know how to do it or maybe have never done it before. And one of the great things about this year's Preakness is we're going to have all new betting lounges available for people to come and ask questions and learn how to bet. So let's open Fabulous. our program. We're going to place okay. a bet for today, the first race. And when you go over, we have the wonderful Fonyette over here that's going to help us out. So Hi, Fonyette. Hi. what you want to do is you want to make sure that you say which track you're betting, okay. the race, the number of the horse, and how much you want to bet. Okay, so, so those are the main things, things to keep up with, right? That's okay, it. Easy so enough. say we're going to uh, place a bet on the first race here at Pimlico today. So you're going to say Pimlico race one, and we're going to do twenty dollars to win on the number four, which on is number four. Brooklyn Spites. Okay, and then. Right. Why did we choose Brooklyn Spites out of uh, the seven options? Well, looking at this race, this was a horse that was technically what it's called taking a drop in class. So theoretically, this is going to be a little bit easier spot than where he ran last time. He has some natural early speed, um, a good jockey aboard. So that's uh, the one that I think maybe has the best chance to win. And here's your ticket. Hold Ooh, on to that. Okay. You don't want to lose that. All right. No, I will hold on to this. And then also, if, uh, if the lines are long and you want to make sure that you get your bet in, another option is this bad boy right here right you can do it yourself that's right but the caveat is you do need a voucher that's right so okay. we have self-service we have uh other betting machines where you can use currency and then mm -hmm. we have machines like this which is a voucher you can purchase a voucher with somebody like fun yet or you can use your winning ticket so say our number four horse wins you can come and bet it right back into the next race hey hey i tell you what right right here winning ticket <laughs> <laughs> I so like it. I, right I'm always positive. That's right. Coming up, what, what are we going to do in the next segment? Well, we're going to go and give you a little bit of behind the scenes 
scenes at the barn area. Now that I can't wait for. All right, guys, stick with us. We're coming up right after this. Welcome back to Great Day, Washington. So we are, guys, we're, we're here. We're in the stalls. We're checking out some of the horses. Now, these are not the horses that are going to be racing in the Preakness. They've not arrived. When do the superstars show up? Well, mostly we'll see a lot of uh, the horses running in the Preakness next week. Mm -hmm. Sometimes trainers do ship in early to get acclimated, and mostly you do want to see those horses get a feel for the track, get, get comfortable here at Pimlico, make this their new home before they race in the Preakness. And when you talk about Pimlico, there is an incredible history that goes along with this race course uh, and just some big, big names. I mean, this is the second leg in the Triple Crown. That's right, and back in a couple of years ago, we had American Farrell win the Triple Crown, won the Kentucky Derby, came here to Pimlico, won the Preakness in the rain, actually, and then did go on to win the Belmont, and that was the first time that we had a Triple Crown winner since the 70s. So wow. you've seen some really big names, horses just like this that are potential <laughs> superstars. Through. We're here in Faith Leatherman's barn right now, and it's been amazing, but Preakness this has happened, it's been going on since 1873, and here at uh the Stronach Group were committed to honoring the history of Maryland racing, but also bringing new things every single year. Absolutely, and it's so fun. It's got to be fun for you guys, the viewers at home, to see this right now because I mean, this is this is active. Yes. Uh, it's <laughs> yes. Very active place. Uh, what's what's going on here? I mean, they're they're feeding. Yep. They're well, it's 9.45 in the morning, mm -hmm. so right now we're in that, that kind of sweet spot. We're getting towards the end of morning workouts. Horses okay. will go out on the track, they'll gallop, they'll get their workout in in the morning, they'll train, and then they'll come back, they'll cool out, they'll walk around here, and then when they're done, they go back in their stalls, and some of them are even getting ready to race later on today. Today's opening day at Pimlico. That's fabulous. Okay, guys, so, I mean, if this doesn't get you excited about racing, I'm not really sure what possibly could. Let's send it back to the studio.